Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, so we were discussing optical isomerism in our last class. So let's just continue with that and let's quickly finish it. So uh, we understood about optical activity. Let's today understand things about optical isomerism, right? So uh, how to figure out when, uh, when a substance is optically active or not or whether it shows optical isomerism or not, right? So the, the prime thing which we have to look at is chirality. Chirality means asymmetry, right? So whenever a, whenever a molecule which you are referring to or you are looking at is asymmetric or chiral, then the substance will be optically active and will show optical isomerism and will be one of the optical isomer. Now that is point 1. Point 2 is, uh, for example, uh, if you are looking for asymmetry, the easy way to figure that out whether substance is asymmetric or not is to do it by rejection method. As in for example, I mean see there can be various kinds of symmetries. So if you keep on looking for ye wali symmetry hai nahi hai, ye wali hai nahi hai, so it usually becomes difficult. So what we do is we look at from a different perspective that let us find a symmetry and say that this molecule is symmetrical or achiral and this is optically inactive and do not show optical isomerism, right? So let us understand that. How do we figure out the chirality? So what we do exactly is that we uh, look for chiral centers. What are chiral centers? 